Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan. I'm back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be proving that Esau is not the white man. Um, Esau is the Arabs, but I'm going to do a, a, a video on that next. But um, this one is going to be about Esau is not the white man. The so-called whites come from um, Japheth. They are the Gentiles. I'm going to prove it in this video. Um, I want to jump into the Bible real quick. KJV Word Study Bible. I want to go to Genesis so we can get an understanding of who the Gentiles where they come from. Okay. Japheth's descendants, the sons of Japheth, Gomar and Magog, and Madai and Javan and Tubal and Meshech and Tyrus, right? By these were the isles of the Gentiles, divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families and their nations. See? All right. I want to jump to, um, want to jump in. This book from Babylon, from Babylon to Timbuktu, written by Rudolf R. Winsor. This is a good book um, to get to do your research on. So let's go to page 19. And I just want to say something real quick. Point this out of Jacob's children. All the children of Shem were black okay all the children of shem were black all his kids they wasn't puerto ricans all right so the whole doctrine that false 12 chart about uh um israel 10 tribes of ephraim are, are spanish puerto ricans and dominicans that's a lie all right they are not israelites spanish people are not israelites now, black people or Negroes that's living in Puerto Rico, Dominican, such and such, and Cuba, uh, right? They are they are, they if they are Negroes, you know. They're probably the children of Israel. So I just want to point that out. So Sakari and Menavela need to stop lying. All right, Spanish people are not Israelites. Most High is bringing out His truth. He said in this. In this time, in these latter days, he will pour out this pour out his spirit of truth. So we jump right into it. The third classification of mankind was the Japhites from Japheth, who was the youngest son of Noah. The offspring of Japheth occupied the Isles of the Gentiles, the shore territories of the Mediterranean Sea in Europe and Persia of Asia, Minot, whence they dispersed, scattered northward over the entire continent of Europe, okay, and a great part of Asia. After Noah's ark rested on the Mount of Ariad and the dispersal of the children of men at the Tower of Babel, Japheth's descendants traveled west, north, and northeast of the mountain of Ariad and the Caucasus Mountains. All right, so how is Esau the white man? Esau is not the white man, but let's get more proof. The Japhites settled near the mountains, Tor uh, Taurus and Amanus in Turkey. They journeyed to the river Tanius in southeast Russia and along Europe to Cadiz, Spain. The sons of Japhet were Gomar, Magog, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus, right? Goma was the ancestor of the first Cimmerians and of the later Cimbri, uh, including other offshoots of the Celtic family. Right? So let's hold that right there. The Celtic family. And when you look at this, all right, on Google, the truth is out there. When you look under, when you look under Goma, all right, these are all his people. 
right? So when you go to Selks, it's like I read the Celts were an Indo-European people in Iron Age in medieval Europe who spoke Celtic ling languages and had cultural similarities. Although the relationship between ethnic, linguistic, and cultural factors in the Celtic war remains uncertain and controversial, the exact geographic spread of the ancient Celts is also disputed, in particular the ways in which the Iron Age inhabitants of Great Britain and Ireland should be regarded as Celts has become a subject of controversy. The history of pre-Celtic Europe remains very uncertain. According to one theory, the common root of Celtic languages, the Proto-Celtic language, right, arose in the late Bronze Age, a uh, urine-filled culture of Central Europe, okay, Central Europe, which flourished from around 1200 BC. In addition, according to a theory proposed in the 19th century, the first people to adopt cultural characteristics regarded as Celtic were of the people of the Iron Age house state culture in Central Europe. Named for the rich graves finds in Halstead, Austri uh, Austria, right? Thus, this area is sometimes called the Celtic homeland. You see what I'm saying? These are all European descendants, all right? They're all European descendants. Um, 400 BC up to Roman conquest, this Celtic culture was supposed to have expanded by transcultural diffusions or migration to the British Isles, Insular Celts, France, and the Low Countries, Gauls, Bohemia, Poland, and much of Central Europe. All right. The Iberian Peninsula, Celtiberians, Celtic, um, and Northern Italy. Northern Italy and following the Celtic settlement of Eastern Europe, beginning in 279 BC, as far east as Central Anatolia, Galatians, and modern day Turkey. European people, man. Alright, the white people come from these people. They are of Japhet. They are not Esau, the twin brother of Jacob. That's a lie. Alright. That's a dummy doctrine. Like G Dash the prophet says. That's a dummy doctrine. By the mid first millennium, with the expansion of Roman Empire and the migration period of Germanic peoples, okay, Celtic culture and and so Celtic languages have become restricted to Ireland, the western and northern parts of Great Britain, Wales, Scotland, and Cornwall, the Isles of Man. Okay. Um. See, they know who 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 Esau is and, and and they know who the white man is the white man is not Esau so to identity was constructed as part of the romanticic celtic revival in great britain ireland and other european territories such as portugal and spanish galicia today irish scottish gallic welsh and breton and Britain are still spoken in parts of their historical territories. All right. They know. But people want to keep believing that Esau is the white man. Esau is not the white man. That's a lie. That's a lie. That is definitely a lie. Okay, let me see. England and Southwest Scotland, Celtic regions of Central Europe, are those who residents claim a Celtic heritage, 
or where no Celtic language has survived, these areas include the Western Iberia and Peninsula, Portugal and North Central Spain, Galicia, Asturias, and such and such. Right? Cont continental Celts or the Celtic speaking people are of mainland Europe and the solo Celts are the Celtic speaking peoples of the British and Irish, okay? And Irish Allens and their descendants, the Celts of Brittany. They need to stop it with the lies, man. The Celtic languages form a branch of the larger Indo European family. Okay? European. By, by the time speakers of Celtic languages entered history around 400 BC, they were already split into several language groups and spread over much of Western continental Europe. All right. The Iberian Peninsula, Ireland, and Britain. You could go on and on with, with, with the Celtic people, but I want to get back. Just proving that they come from the Europeans. Um, some, some parts of the Europeans you know, come from different uh, races. Okay, so let me get back to from Babylon to Timbuktu. And of the present day, Gales of Ireland, mm -hmm, Scotland, and the Hebrides Hebr Islands, these Sumerians were described by Homer, the Greek, as dwelling in a remote place of mist and gloom. This place was located north of the Black Sea, right? Black Sea. Now, when you look up the Black Sea, right? You got right here. The Black Sea is a body of water and margin sea of the Atlantic Ocean between Eastern Europe and Western Asia, bounded by Bulgaria, Georgia, Georgia Romania, Russia, Turkey, and Ukraine. See? These are where white people are descending from, from Japheth. They're not descending from Esau. Esau is not the white man. Let's get back into from Babylon to Timbuktu. The second son of Japheth was Magog, the father of the Magogites. Flavius, Flavius Josephus said that the Greeks called these people Scythians, right? Scythians. Right? Gomar, Scythians. The Scythians from ancient Greek, also known as Sight, Saka, and such on, were a large group of Iranian, still European people, Assyrian nomads who were mentioned by near by literate peoples as inhabited large areas in the central Eurasian steeps from about the 9th century BC until about the 1st century BC. The Scythian language belonged to the eastern branch of the Iranian languages, right? Ancient Greeks historians spoke of Scythians who lived north of the Black Sea, right? Like I just said over here. The Black Sea between Eastern Europe and Western Asia. Right? The Black Sea. And the Caucasus Mountains. Plain and day, man. They gonna... See, the truth is coming out because the Most High is pouring out His Spirit, right? They can't hide this truth no more. Caucasus Mountains. All right? They know who these people are. They know who Esau is and they know who the white men are. So we just got to research and study to show our answers, man.
can't just be going off or uh, taking out a text a few scriptures and saying all oh, this applied to them. This is this is Esau the white man. We can't do that. All right. Based on based in what is modern day Ukraine, Southern Europe, European Russia, and Krima, the Western Scythians were ruled by a wealthy class known as the Royal Sith. The Scythians established and controlled a vast trade network connecting Greece, Persia, India, and China. And in the 7th century BC, the Scythians crossed the Caucasus, the Caucasus, and frequently raided the Middle East. All right, they're all from Japheth. They all come from Japheth children. They're all part of Japheth on children. They're all from Japheth children, European white people, all right? They know the truth. The truth is out there. Um. As well as many other words for Scythians, such as Assyrian and Greek, descend from school, schooled an ancient Indo-European root, meaning propel, shoot. They all come from Japhet, man. These are Japhet people. That's all Jaffa people. But let's go back. Alright, let's get back into from Babylon to Timbuktu. Scythians. The Scythians included all the wandering tribes who dwelt mostly near the north of the Black and Caspian Sea, which I just told you where it is by the Europe Europe and Asia. Alright? They were regarded by the ancients as tremendously lacking intelligence and civilization. The third son of Japheth was Madai, the father of the Medes. All right. Now let's go into Compact Bible Dictionary real quick. Let's go to Madai real quick. It's one of Japheth's sons. Bear with me. The doctrine of lies needs to be exposed and brought to the light because we are in the latter days. Christ is returning pretty soon. All people that's lying is going to have to answer to Christ. All you false camps out there, you're going to have to answer to the Most High God. Okay, Madai, a people descended from Japheth, 
right? They occupy the same area which modern Iran does today, and we're called the Medes, right? Called the Medes, right? So when you look up, you look up Madai and look up one of his sons, right? The Medes. Right, so the Medes, old Persian, ancient Greek, were an ancient Iranian people who lived in an area known as Media, Media Northwest Iran, and who spoke the Median language. All right, uh, they mainly inhabited the mountains area of northwestern Iran and the northeastern and eastern region of Mesopotamia. Let's go down a little bit. All right. Which had dominated northwestern Iran and eastern Anatolia and the Caucasus. When you go to the Medes, right? Med Medai, these are the people of like the Iranians, the Persians, such and such. Now let's go see how they look. Okay, that's how they look. So called white people. Let's look up Iranian. Iranian peoples, the Iranian peoples, Iranic peoples are a diverse, are a diverse Indo-European ethnic ethno ethno linguistic group that comp uh, that comprise the speakers of the Iranian languages. All right, Proto-Iranians are believed to have emerged as a separate branch of the Indo-Iranians in Central Asia. And ancient Iranian people who emerged after 1000 BC include the Persians, Parthians, Medes, Scythians, okay, Scythians, and other peoples of Central Asia, the Caucasus, Eastern Europe, and the Iranian Plateau. Because they all come from his um, Japhet's people. They all come from Jaffa people, right? So their current distribution spreads across the Iranian plateau and stretches from the Caucasus in the north to Persia Gulf in the south and from uh, Xinjiang in the east to eastern Turkey and the west. They all come from Jaffet, man. They all come from Jaffet. Kids. Old Iranian being descended from Proto-Indo-European. They all come from Jaffet. Like I showed you, this is how they look. White people, still Europeans. Okay. So let me go to let me go back into from Babylon to Timbuktu to get more understanding. Uh, where was I? There we go. Medes. They were located at the southern part of the Caspian Sea. 
Alright, the Cassian Sea. The Caspian Sea. The Caspian Sea is the largest enclosed inland body of water on Earth by area voraciously classed as the world's largest lake or a full fledged sea. It is in an endorheic basin located between Europe and Asia. Europe and Asia. Still European descendants. Alright. Esau is not a white man. That's a lie. These camps need to stop lying. Right? Caspian Sea. And they later united with the Persians to form one race. From Javan, the fourth son of Japhet, came the Janonians and all the Greeks, right? Now let's go to the Bible Compact Dictionary and look up Javan. He's the father of all the Greeks, all the Greece people. Simple, man. Just study to show your answer. That's it. Study, man, study. They still on the corner of these camps with a false chart. All right, screaming, Esau is the white man, and Spanish people are not Israelites. Spanish people are not Israelites. Javan, a region settled of the sons of Japhet. Javan was the name of this country to who saw is as an important trade center, so... Javan Greek, Jonia, came to be the name of Greece to the Hebrews during the period 700 through 630 BC. The, Jononia, the Jonians carried on expensive trade in the Near East, hence all people of Greece were called Javan. All right, still a European people, just like Alexander the Great was a Greek, come from the son of Japhet, Javan, so-called white man. All right, it's that simple, man. They need to stop lying. They need to stop lying. These camps need to stop lying, man. Let's see some Greek, Greece people. White, still white. Okay, see here. Javan was the fourth son of Noah's son, Japheth, according to the table of nations, okay? States the traditional belief that this individual was the ancestor of the Greek people. Ancestor of the Greek people. You see? They are all European people. They are all European people. It's simple. Simple man, Esau is not the white man. That's a lie. The island of Rhodes, west of modern Turkey, between Cyprus and the mainland of Greece. They know who he is. Esau is not the white man, man. They need to stop that. Look at that. Javan, Jonians, Greeks, Tartasians, Ancient Grecians. 
Alright. Ancient Grecians. The Greeks or Hellenists are an ethnic group native to Greece, Cyprus, Southern Albania, Turkey, Sicily, white people, Egypt, okay? To a lesser extent, other countries surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, they also form a significant diaspora with Greek communities established around the world. Greek colonies and communities have been historically established on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea, which is between East, uh, Eastern Europe and Asia. But the Greek people have always been centered on the Aegean and Genonian Seas, where the Greek language has, spoke, has been spoken since the Bronze Age. They're all white people man all white people don't believe these false camps out here it's all a lie man they, they're not telling the truth they mix the truth with lies like satan do most ethnic ethnic greeks live nowadays within the borders of modern greek state and cyprus the greek genocide and population exchange between greece and turkey nearly ended the three millennia old greek presence in asia minor other long-standing Greek populations can be found from southern Italy to the Caucasus and southern Russia and Ukraine and in the Greek diaspora communities in a number of other countries. Today, most Greeks are officially registered as members of the Greek Orthodox Church. Come on, man. How much food do you need? Greeks speak the Greek language, which forms its own unique branch within the Indo-European Indo-European family of languages. The Hellenic. They are a, they are a part of a group of pre-modern ethnicities. See, the white man comes from Gabriel and his son. Esau is not the white man. That's a dummy doctrine. Alright, that's a that's a dummy doctrine. That is not true. So well, what we gotta do, man, we gotta search research, man. Study the Bible. Study and seek. Precept must be upon precept, man. Line upon line, I hear a little, there a little. That's how you get your answer. True wisdom comes from fear the 